Welcome back to Crash Bandicoot 3, Warped for the PlayStation 4. Alright my friends, welcome back, so let's go ahead and jump into level 21. We're getting extremely close to the end of this game. Gone tomorrow. Very close to the end of this game. Now the final boss of course is Cortex, and he is only 5 levels away. So I predict that the next episode is going to be the finale guys, because I've been taking care of about 2 or 3 levels per episode. So yeah. This is probably the second from last episode. Sad, but exciting at the same time. Um, in the last episode, we actually got another upgrade as well. We got the uh, Fruit Bazooka, which in my opinion is broken as I'm showing off right now. It's incredibly powerful. Makes your life a ton easier than it already is. Because we have already, you know, picked up a lot of upgrades as it is. He's just going to fire some cannons here. I don't know if this works. Uh, it does, okay, so that's even better. Normally, uh, you can actually run up to him and spin him away. That's just basically a, an average weak spot. It doesn't really matter how you go about uh, taking care of that enemy. Okay, oh, it's a good thing I had an Akaku mask there, but that still sucked. Neo. Oh, here you go, nice. Um, might as well actually take care of these enemies, because they're just going to get in the way otherwise. And the good thing as well, um, you can break the boxes with this. So, enemies up ahead basically can suck a dick. Right, I need to get a little bit closer because that guy's actually not quite close enough yet. So, I can fire this fruit bazooka. Okay, I don't exactly know where the metal boxes are here. I could try this one, see what this one does for us. And maybe try that one as well if I can aim at it. The good thing as well, uh, this actually has an unlimited supply of ammo. See, originally I thought that it depended on how much of the, uh, the you know, the Wampa Fruits that you got. Which I thought would have been a clever design, because it means that you'd have to pick them up. But it doesn't matter, look. You have an unlimited supply. So, that's extremely broken. That is so good. Plain and simple. Uh, what does this one do for us? I no longer have to take so many risks as well. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't know how to activate that box there. I think I had trouble getting the uh, the gem box in this before. Yeah, I don't know. I can't really see that metal box. Maybe you guys know. But yeah, that's kind of an obscure one to find. But, like I said, not really going for 100% of the boxes. Just playing for fun, seeing if I win or lose. It's hard to tell which one is happening more half the time. Crystal, hell yeah. What's that scary enemy that I could fall into by accident? Don't care. So good. See, I thought it'd be an interesting design if you had to pick up Wampa Fruits. It, it would give you an incentive to collect these. You think, oh, right, okay, I've got more ammo now. But no, the game's like, you know what? We feel really sorry for you because we believe our games are difficult. Um, yeah, here, have this. <laughs> <laughs> have unlimited ammo. That's insane. Um, I'm guessing the TNT needs to trigger them boxes off, so... I don't know. I don't exactly know what that is. There's a bonus route here. I guess I could probably take that, see if I can rustle up a couple more lives. Uh, the fight with Cortex is actually kind of interesting um, in terms of fighting mechanics and stuff, because we have a distraction going on half the time as well. Okay, screw that. What did that activate for us? Okay, right. Um, wow. What am I doing? Uh, okay. <laughs> wow, okay. Thankfully you don't lose lives on the bonus route because that would have been, you know, pretty embarrassing. I mean, it was already embarrassing, but um, that was still pretty embarrassing. I don't need to worry about that anymore. What am I doing? I have a fruit bazooka. I no longer have to worry about that BS anymore. You see that? I don't need to worry about it anymore. What was I wasting so much time doing that for? There was me thinking, oh, I might need to trigger a nitro box and come back. I don't need to do that anymore. I forget how easier this is. It's like now I see nitros, I'm thinking, oh, what am I supposed to do about that? I'm thinking, oh yeah, I have a weapon. No Fs given. Not anymore. That's why I think Crash Bandicoot 3, in my opinion, is probably the easiest out of the three of them, because that bazooka is incredibly broken, like I said. We have a double jump, which can uh, you know, help us not die on more than one account. 
Uh, we have a super spin, which means if you mistime a spin, you can probably kill them with the amount of spin time that you have left. This really sucks. Wow. Jump over there. Okay, that works. I, again, see, I could have used the bazooka there, and I didn't. I'm making hard work for myself. Oh, for crying out loud. Literally popped crash like a balloon. Okay. I shall take my time, even knowing I have countless weapons to help me. And then I will proceed. Oh, more enemies. No. Actually thinking about it, uh can you jump on that? Oh, it looked like one of those like you know, like in the original Crash Bandicoot where you flip the turtles over and you could jump on them like a trampoline. Kinda looked like you could do that for a minute. Normally when the enemy flips up, you think, oh, there's another reason for them being there, but no, nope, they literally just you have to spin them away afterwards as well. Okay, makes them a slightly more tougher enemy than average. Okay, nice. <laughs> you can use them as a weapon as well, I suppose, in that respect. And there's the end of the level. Nice. Alright, well that's us done. We can pretty much go. I missed a couple of boxes because there was a few hidden ones that I didn't get. Um, but yeah, no matter. Still got the power crystal and we are headed back to the time twister to do maybe one or two more levels and then end this episode for the finale, guys. This has been a 10 episode series on my channel. I've kind of kept it short and sweet, but I also am hoping that it's been entertaining for you guys. I've enjoyed it. You know, I think it's been quite good so far. Okay, wow, well, that's got to give you some acid reflux, hasn't it? So, we have level 22 now, which is orange as fault, and yeah, this looks like another racing level. So, I'm looking forward to that. That ought to be freaking great. We've done two of these driving levels already, and um, they've been getting harder and harder every single time. Um, yeah, this is, <laughs> this is going to be interesting. I was hoping that this was it, but it's not, and there's nine positions here. Didn't get the boost, so we're literally playing with a basic run here. I'm probably not going to bother with the boxes, because like I said, I'm not getting all the boxes. Uh, but yeah, the vehicles, the police cars now, are actually trying to give us a driving ticket by deliberately trying to crash into us, which I think is a little bit mean. See, some of them are going off track. Which you would think would slow them down a little bit, considering that's what happens to us. But it, no, not, not by much. It doesn't slow them down by much. Thankfully, we get a tiny bit of an extra boost from going up these ramps, as you just saw there. These ones are really good. If you can time this really well and try not to go too far off track with it, you can get a nice bit of boost out of that. It lasts for a very, very long time. I mean, normally you can take about two vehicle positions out of that. I might actually try this little shortcut there. Yeah, that was a little bit better. A little bit of a squiggly road coming up, and we have, okay, third position. Oh, that's good. That's good timing. That is good timing. Nice. I still am two positions behind, though. That's not very good. I'd like to do a little bit better than that. I want to try and get to at least second by this point. Go this way around. Oh, God, that's extremely close. This is going to be tight again, isn't it? The first one was quite bad. I remember that much. Can I get the boost pad? No, I can't get the boost pad. Alright, fine. Okay, game. Alright. Oh, okay. <laughs> I, I was going to get the boost pad there, but I actually fought against it because I could see how much it was going to hinder me in that, that tight amount of space. Because I want to use this one instead. I still can't afford to mess this up though, because these vehicles, they don't slow down. And they don't have the same restrictions that I do. Which is quite a freaking lot, and I don't really want to mess this up now. Okay, we are done. First time as well. That was actually incredibly nice. I didn't really fancy doing that again. Oh, look at that. He crushed my vehicle at the end there. You see that? Annoyed because I actually did a driving lesson first time. Well, that's that's just a shame. I'm, I'm okay with that, though. Right, so we now have level 23. I'm glad that was quite quick and easy. I was worried about that one. The driving ones are always, you know, irritating, in my opinion. They're fun, but when you're trying to do a playthrough, you don't want to spend an hour failing at one of those driving, uh, you know, stages. Flaming Passion. This is either going to be really good or really bad, according to that title. Kind of sounds like 
I don't know, an oxymoron in my opinion. Well, we'll see how we do. It's like, I see all these enemies now and I'm, I don't care anymore. It's like, I'm not afraid of your knife. I have a bazooka. Do you really? Oh my god. Seriously? I was trying to get the bazooka out. That's what I was trying to do, because when you get the bazooka out, he stops in place. And I was pressing the L2 button to aim, and for some reason he decided to just keep on moving. Also, you can destroy this window as well. <laughs> if that's distracting you, you can, you know, kind of take care of that. So what I mean, the bazooka actually does too much in my opinion. But I'm not going to complain at it because the enemies can do too much to me. Oh, I see that. Seizing an opportunity there, wasn't he? Let's try and take out this monkey before I get there. See how broken that is? I didn't even need to fire twice there. Okay. Alright. Oh no, I'm not... Oh, wait, 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 wait! Oh my god, he didn't stop spinning! I pressed stop as well. I wasn't freaking spinning anymore, and he's decided to carry on spinning. He's like, yeah, I, I like spinning though. Oh, alright, never mind. Thought he was going to come a little bit earlier than that. Never mind. <laughs> Speaking of which, there goes the death route on this uh, level, because there was one, I think. Oh no, 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 no. We're not doing this, not today. Okay. Thank you, Carpets, for all of your assistance throughout this playthrough, by the way. You've you've incredibly helped me. I couldn't I literally couldn't have done it without you. Like I either use the bazooka a whole lot or not at all. I do think there's a nice balance that you can have. Wow, that was a incredibly big dick move. Alright. Is that it? I'm trying to think what's actually safe to cross now. I know there's normally like you know, burnt patches on the ground to signify where they're going to be you know, throwing these molotovs. Still doesn't mean anything safe in this level. you got to remember, I've played the original Crash Bandicoot as well. I know that some platforms can decide to fall down randomly as well. Nothing is safe. No, no, you can get that crap out of here as well. I have a checkpoint. No, see what I mean? See how safe that is that you have that? It's like, I knew I was going to mess that up. But I have the double jump, I have the, you know, the, the big spin ability as well. It just, I don't know, it just helps you so much. You find that you fail probably about, I don't know, 75% less than what you could do if you didn't have them abilities. I really appreciate that. Oh, nitro boxes with one per fruits telling me to jump over them. Why would I need to? Sorry, one per fruits kind of murdered you there, didn't I? See that? That's that's just so nice. Doesn't mean anything is safe still though, including this horrendous stuff. I mean, I can see what I have to do here. You kind of think, well, how am I supposed to destroy the, the uh, jumping blocks? Again, I have a bazooka, so I don't need to worry about that. Okay, right, that's really, that is really cruel. <laughs> that's so harsh. It's like, here, die. Speaking of which, how many boxes do we have? We need five more, and I can actually see them up ahead. This was a good run. This was a really good run for us. Nice, let's go ahead and finish this level then. If we can just make it there unscathed, that would be much appreciated. Okay, I think I destroyed that. I can't really see there, but I think I did. Yeah, I did. Uh, that is indeed 75 boxes. Cool, we can now leave with a crystal and a gem. Not going to complain about that. Couple of fails throughout this level, but not quite as bad as what it could have been. Certainly a lot less than what it could have been if we didn't have the fruit bazooka. <laughs> Gotta love free upgrades and weapons in games. It just makes the whole thing a lot more interesting and fun to play. Well, I think that's going to conclude this episode, guys. Um, in the next episode, it's actually going to be the finale. We're going to be taking care of level 24, level 25, and we're going to have the showdown with Dr. Neo Cortex. Should be fun. We'll see how that goes. And uh, yeah, hopefully you guys are enjoying this playthrough, and I hope to see you guys in the next episode.
Alright guys, so thanks for watching and I'll see you all next time. Take care.